All right, welcome to our far so far with your host, Brian. Follow us on Instagram, Snapchat. Listen to the podcast on Spotify, Apple Music. And do yourself a big favor. Subscribe to the motherfucking YouTube. We was off the podcast for how long? Almost a month. Really? We, yeah, we almost we almost had to do a golf on me for our new camera. <laughs> <laughs> but since we did an episode talking shit about the golf on me, we figure it out. See how easy life is? Solutions. Solutions. This is what we did. Ladies and gentlemen, it's an exciting day today for some of you. <laughs> some of you, some of you hater, some of you lover, some of you have a lot of shit to say, but she's back in the joint. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Shayla out here. Hey! Hello. <laughs> Perfect. Yes. Her name so in the streets fitting. like that with the gunshots, yo? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. I was yeah. about to call myself a cockroach. That's a very fitting sound. I just don't die. <laughs> I'm sorry. At strong least you got start. the jokes. <laughs> what the fuck? What, what is oh, oh, He God. needs some milk. Oh, God damn. <laughs> What's up, Shayla? How you been? Where you been? I haven't seen you around here in a, in a minute. What's it going on? I know. I've been missing the episode. So I basically invited myself here to get you guys back on track. Because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you only ever get views when I'm here. So. Whoa! Nah. Shut down this Yo, fucking that- podcast. <laughs> Follow us on Instagram and Snapchat. We're done. We're done. <laughs> We're done. What are you talking about? So, you, so hold, wow. on, hold on. Listen. And nah. you just use me for thumbnails. No. <laughs> no. Nah, we, nah, we use you to get up and turn around right now. <laughs> No, we use you. Nah. <laughs> 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 Gun strong start. <laughs> I missed you it guys. Went, it went, it went me. Guy, where's the bottle opener? <laughs> huh? Where's the bottle? Oh, see. <laughs> now we can. You can't do the podcast without. <laughs> <laughs> so today we got a bunch of different uh, subjects to talk about, especially with a uh, with our lovely guest. Um, there's a few things on the table. Um, you know, the regular bullshit about, you know, Shayla, Shayla and the skater park and whatnot. Uh, we'll touch that a little bit. Part, part 50. Uh, 50? Sh- 5,000. We, we, oh we're going to take, we go, we're going to allow Shayla to take us into a little bit of a trip to dissect yeah. the latest YouTube video. Yeah. Um, cause we kind of want to understand what's up with all that joint. And, um, number three, what's number three? I don't know what it's on. I got surprise. We'll, we'll just, it was all pride. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Stay tuned. <laughs> Get that watch time up. <laughs> I, I didn't want to say. I'm not saying. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. <laughs> you trying to get me? Nah. Shelly. Mm-hmm. Yes. Ta- Let me ask you something. Yeah. <laughs> you know, earlier, mm-hmm. um, we were just chilling. Well, by the way, it took me almost an hour, hour and a half to set up the podcast. God right? damn. Because of, of the new camera. <laughs> right. I couldn't figure Guy it out. Guy slows molasses. And this guy almost broke the frame. And as a lightweight, I can say I am proper buzzing at this point in time. No way. Having waited for this guy. So I'm just ready to sing like a fucking canary. Oh, yes. <laughs> so. so, first of all, I, just, I, I got a little upset because. Why is that? You, you, you posted a tech duck the other day. I did. About, uh, what was it about? <laughs> Walk us through that. What was the TikTok about? Are we talking about the dress? Yes. Okay, so I'm a sweaty human being. I'm not even going to like that's what, that's, that's <laughs> tiptoe okay. around it. Tip-toe. I've had surgery the, in the past the, twice, both of which failed. So like I'm for, stuck for being. For sweaty? Yeah, it's called hyperhydrosis. It's an oh, actual thing. Oh, I know somebody thing. who have that. Yeah, it's a real and thing. So yeah, I've had mm. surgery. So, so it's, it's wet all the time. It just is what it is. The pussy I mean, wet all the time. <laughs> God, I did yeah. not say that. That's what I didn't say. That. <laughs> Come on. God, that's just said, a given always. Oh, so the pussy wet all the time. <laughs> Yo, yeah. I don't want to be part of this fucking podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you make it easy though. Oh yeah. yeah. Like this guy try to act like he's he's I sitting his oh it's so, all hey, wet all the time. What, like, what, what's it? <laughs> <laughs> You're not <laughs> slick, bro. <laughs> and at least with me on here, I catch it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, continue on. So the dress. Yeah. yeah. So, so oh, the dress. Yeah, as a sweaty person, I don't normally wear color. <laughs> and especially in this hot weather, um, I definitely stay away from color. But this day, I'm like, I'm only going to be outside for like 0.5 seconds. And I'm going to be in my car the rest of the time, pretty much. So, so, so 
with this dress. With this dress. For all the guys out there, because I know they saw it. <laughs> <laughs> I know they saw it. So I and a dress like that, that's so like you know revealing and like it's, it won't it revealing. Was, no, it shows her curves. It, it literally curves. okay it for anybody watching. It went down to about no, I mean, here. It was a t shirt and also all the way up to the top of my that's neck. That's not what so I'm like, asking. I'm revealing saying revealing in like a body shape way. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, a shape way. But that's the what whole I mean. point I is, I am still covered Wait. basically head to toe. It don't matter. It's up to perception <laughs> oh, the and perception the person. They, they, so if you want to perceive. perceive it the way you want to perceive okay, it, that's so on you. We're talking about perception. If we're <laughs> Me, talking... I'm just trying to get comfy. One piece of clothing is so much easier and it looks like I'm put together. Also, that's my only goal. What do you what mean by that? People might... <laughs> <laughs> what you guys might perceive it as again. So, that's, so, that's on you. <laughs> so for the guys perceiving, do we perceive that you're not wearing no underwear under the, the, the dress? Or you like, know, this uh, particular day... I, I was not wearing it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I just kind of think. No, we have to be Why not? I don't want to. <laughs> I, I knew it. it, it well, you normally it. I would, honestly, because right. like the underwear I wear, they're high rise. They cinch things in, and you I like it. Thong? I, that, that's what I'm saying. Like uh, a thong, you know, it's good. It's good stuff. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. It's cinch. What do you say? Like, cinch things in. Because like when you, it's I, a, it's I, a I, thing. You might not understand it because you probably don't have to like create optical illusions with your body to appeal to the general public. You have to create optical but as illusions. a woman, I have learned over the years things to go underneath your clothing to make you look a certain type of way and mm. certain underwear of certain wow. sizes. So, so you call Island. Almost. Um, pardon? You're tricking people. Exactly. You trick people? Uh, obviously, I'm being sarcastic. So just, oh. What you see is what you get. I'm not afraid to show that. <laughs> so, with, with the sweat. With the sweat and all, which is exactly what we're trying to get to. You saw to. the sweat and I saw no thong. It was basically a medium brown dress and I was not wearing underwear, so there was nothing to catch it. On That's my, all I wanted to know. That's it. On my drive home, I guess I was sweating just sitting there. And as you put I, the heat on. You, you put the heat on your seat. Honestly, I do good. have my seat warmers on because I have a really bad back. So when I'm in my car, I have the AC or the windows down and then I will <laughs> always have my seat warmers on. Told so you. the cheeks were sweating a little bit and I get to the gas station <laughs> <laughs> I get out of my car. I put the gas. <laughs> Should I even continue with this story? No, keep going. It's a Do great we want to tell the story, or have we already just covered it? <laughs> <laughs> Why you throw that? Why yeah. you? <laughs> I, told so you heat, I told you the heat. I told you the heat. so, up. so how many views you got on that TikTok? Yeah, around twenty-seven thousand. Twenty-seven thousand. Which is in the TikTok world is really not that no, no, much. No, no, no. But fuck for fuck someone, all y'all niggas. That was the first day I've really ever posted on TikTok, so I was kind of excited remember, to we have like about a good her, like, video. Are you on TikTok? She's like, no, and we're like, you're not. You first of all, be on I just want to come here on the internet and say, fuck you, internet, <laughs> <laughs> because I'm out here no. bringing value to the matter. people. Them, hold on, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> bringing violence to the people, giving right. the, the the real game to for the kids that are growing up, and you're giving 27 k views to some ass sweat. <laughs> Fuck all y'all. <laughs> Yo, Thank that's you. the world we live in. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Fuck all y'all. You ass know, you can sweat. look at it from your perspective of you know people seeing ass sweat, thinking it's appealing in whatever twisted kind of way. But a lot of the comments and a lot of people were other women relating to the same shit. And that is the mm. audience I cater more to. I don't give a shit about what men think about my ass sweat, whether they lick it front to back. I don't fucking care. I want to talk to the women who also have hyperhidrosis who needs sweat. I mean, that is my <laughs> audience. Those are my... <laughs> but men, I'm not here no. to post that shit for men. My All ass right, could have looked a million it. times better in that TikTok and I didn't care and, enough to make and, it look good. Any bad experiences with the hyperhidrosis situation? Absolutely. Anytime it's like triggered by anxiety to so any date ever. What? I'm like Ross Geller in like leather. If you've ever seen that episode, like I am a sweaty, disgusting I mess hate that sometimes. I know what she's talking about. Before. So no, no, nobody ever like licked it or nothing? I have never let anyone lick my sweat. No. No, At you're least... not talking about the sweat. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm too pure for this podcast. Pure? Pure? Honestly, pure I'm kidding. Pure evil, bro. Pure evil. What are you talking <laughs> about, bro? You Yo, come over here. You know what? Oh, mm. my goodness. Nah, you know what? Shame on me. <laughs> yeah. There was another bit. 
What? There was another video. Uh huh. You know. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Like, you know, I love you because of the fact that you just don't care. I know, yeah. man. Imagine, you just don't man. care. No. I'm a woman to be like that. <laughs> and, 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 and the thing is, like, if women knew how much we appreciate that type of attitude. Crazy. Like, just keep it in a book. Like, mm-hmm. okay, like, you know, the first couple of days, you acted on your best behavior. Guys, it's been a year. Drop it. Drop the act. Yeah. You know, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, drop you, the persona. Yeah, like, show me the real like, you You, you, can, you yeah. can fart now. You can fart. <laughs> you can fart now. It's okay. Don't don't act stupid. Yeah. No, it's okay. Though. I mean, if you queef, you might as well fart. It's no, the same exactly. thing. This, this, this. I'd rather queef than fart. Anyway. Yeah, because we're fucking right. Yeah. So yeah. I get it. But like, you never queef. No, she's no. Said, I'm saying no. I would rather. She'd queef rather than queef fart. than fart. I in hate front of... farts, shit talk. I hate. I don't know why. <laughs> that is like one of my icks, one of my pet peeves. I hate shit or anything. Like but come that. out of you. Like I've never farted in front of a guy. Good. So, that's good, though. So what happened if a guy and like, farts in front of you? I think I will know I've met the right man for me when I feel comfortable to fart in front of him, and I've not yet met that person. That's interesting. So what if so that's how you measure love, through your ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the only way I can measure how much I like you so is whether about, or not so I can like, fart like in front Brian of you. Like what Brian said, what if a guy like fart in front of you? I've had a, gar- a guy fart on me after sex before. <laughs> Skateboarder, nonetheless. So skate park, thank you for that. So you really love this guy? No. So, no, walk, 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 no, hold on, hold on. Walk me through that day. So you guy was having sex and he just get up and say, surprise. Essentially. No. Oh, no, my. he had finished and we were kind of laying there. But before I know it, he like climbs on top of me and farts on me. What do you mean? Like, like what do you mean by that? Like, you mean like. Do you want me to demonstrate? <laughs> what do you mean by that? Like, should I I'm, play I'm, show? I'm confused. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Do it on double Go the couch. Catch. Yeah, shit, yeah, thank Good catch. Much. Good catch. It's okay. Okay. It's okay. Now you now you can get up on the couch. You can get you up can on get the couch. Now I'm self conscious now. No, nah, you're <laughs> fine. On the couch. You're fine. You can get up on the couch. Wow. No, it's okay. I'll leave it to the imagination. Oh, <laughs> you motherfucking Mike, bitch. <laughs> Fuck you, Mike, you piece of shit. Get <laughs> Amazon base. Fuck you, Jim. <laughs> Baser. Uh, piece of shit. Yeah. The but he actually like here. So what he looked at you and said like Oh I love you I'm man. pretty sure he was like so insanely not In this so was planet he, Was he all on drugs or like He was something okay. I never know with this one So I just How's assume the going? worst at this point How's that going How's Gator Man going Well you were just about to talk about my video And I mean you met him yourself He actually introduced himself to you <laughs> So that was <laughs> really was. really interesting Because I have <laughs> pussy footed around the topic At every given opportunity And really? Apparently he's out here at, you know, but cheap it, ass restaurants just telling people that's who he is. <laughs> Listen. But I couldn't say anything for two years, but he can say it to somebody who he doesn't even know whose podcast he's just seen in his recommended But he liked the man them. <laughs> you like the man them, that's what it is. I'm tired of man them. <laughs> 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 I woke up one day and I fucking had enough. Like oh I just had a dream that he was with God. another girl. And like in my video, a dream, a I, dream. I had a nightmare is what I referred to it as in my video. So that's how you. <laughs> <laughs> and like it just I don't know why all of a sudden it kind of hit me. I'm just like, why the fuck do I keep doing this with this person when I know I can do so much better? Right. Right. Like, I mean, Brian, you met him. I know what you said. Like, we know we are on the same page here. That's why I should not be allowed to call before a podcast. (laughs) I'm not the one. I've wasted two (laughs) years of my primal, fucking young, beautiful years on some subpar dick that couldn't (gasps) even make me come one (laughs) in two fucking years of almost weekly sex. The only time I ever came was like from me being on top doing all the work. And I think he was so excited that day that he just like wrote about it in his diary. But okay, I, I need to stop. I'm sorry. No, but, no, like, no, no, <laughs> but to this day, like even in the last few weeks, like he's got this new thing where he's like asking me to come. And I'm like, bitch, that's your job. You make me come. Don't ask me to come. Be like, don't, don't, don't whisper in my ear, baby, I want you to come for me. I lose my heart on right there. <laughs> Like, I'm ready to close up shop immediately. I'm just sitting there staring at the fucking ceiling of my van disassociating. 
So are you guys you guys fucking a van? Absolutely. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> It's some real hillbilly shit, honestly. Hey, hey. But it's fine. It's a comfy bed in the van, so it's nice. Let me nice. tell you something. Tell me something, Nate. I'm glad you came back on. <laughs> He's Yo. still tired, Brian. <laughs> nah, I, I just don't know what to do. I, 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 <laughs> Bro, you're speechless. You speechless? Nah. I'm just tired. Two years of not coming, unless it was by myself. I just I, I reached my go, threshold. Well jerk off. That's that's the only way I've been able to come in the last fucking two years. Nah, yeah. Why yeah. Because besides dude. that, it's like one night stands, and one night stands don't usually get me there. They're fun. They're whatever, spontaneous. But you're not it. intimate with the but person. But I'm not exactly. And that was right. the only thing I had with this person because I had feelings. So you know, I kept going back. Intimacy, intimacy, <laughs> <laughs> intimacy is a bitch. And I got caught in that <sighs> tangled ass web, and I'm finally wow. just out of it was, and I feel like a fucking idiot for spending the last two years of my life doing this shit when well, I yeah. could have no, spent why, my why, time so much better now can, can, can we give some some room for error I'll like why do we blame him why do, I'm not blaming we, him for anything if anything I'm blaming myself for staying in this sweat? cycle <laughs> yeah <laughs> maybe <laughs> blame the sweat <laughs> but guess what sweat or not he stuck can around for two years has he not listen yeah, thank you. <laughs> Listen, I would, I would, oh, I would, I would have got, I would have got, got you there, I would have got you there already. <laughs> like, I think people are going. <laughs> that's not what the well, guy is talking about. Nate, I'm too far. Nate, I'm too far. Yo, yo, I would have well, got you there already. What the fuck? Nate, we went on a date. You obviously I, didn't get me there. What, what, what do you mean by that? What do you, what do you mean by that? What do you, what do you, what do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Talk about it. This is us. So, yo, can I so, be? No, you here, you here. So, I don't want to be here. <laughs> so, this isn't even pertaining to you. So Why we went, not? We went to Starbucks. Yes, he cool. got such a cute drink. His little vanilla bean frappe. I That's thought it was adorable. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was so cute. <laughs> what did you get? I got a iced Girl, hazelnut latte. Out. Boring. That <laughs> says the vanilla bean frappe. Right. You wouldn't expect that from me, right? <laughs> no. Me, right. She's like, wait, hold on a minute. This nigga getting vanilla bean frappe? Is I got to know more. <laughs> no, okay. we had a good, a uh, really good first date. Great conversation. It was all I would have, like, honestly asked for from, like, a quick first coffee date. Well, I wasn't going to take it to the gag the first time. <laughs> So so so, Take what, me where, so so what happened? So like there was no follow up. Did it fall off? I didn't. F- oh, she no, can say. I don't think so. I don't think on either end there was any. Mm-mm. So no. you just went out for fun. Yeah, I guess so. Just went out for a conversation. So there was no like. I'll and see you another time. There was no like. Uh, well, we like, knew we'd see each other again. Here we are. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I'm no. just there was no, like, no, no. Don't give the wrong impression. Because now the people think when you come to the bug ass, you get fuck ass. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I think you're the only one that thinks that. No, because that's what you say. Like, oh, I knew I was going to see him again. Look, we're here now. <laughs> no, she, she knew she was going to see. Oh shit! Yeah, that, there was that, nothing not, bad yeah. that happened. So obviously, I'm gonna see him again. Like if there nah, was something nah, negative I, that happened, it was like I remember you saying. I remember you saying that. Oh, like I'm a little bit intimidating. That's what you said. That you were a little bit intimidated. That's what I. That's what I remember. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what you said. Maybe. It's she, not she, far off. I'm a very anxious human being. You know. Oh, I said so you the were same sweating thing about like Brian. crazy. You, you, like, you were sweating that day. Oh yeah, she got anxiety. No, I think because we had already known each other, oh, and like so we've done the podcast a couple of times. Yo, like, guys, there wasn't, she looked good that day too. I kind of already knew. What oh, you make yourself look nice for the man? She looked nice. She didn't come out like a bum. Mm-mm. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so did he? He wore a nice little jacket and some jewelry. He was looking good. So what happened? Like nothing. This, no, I don't but no, 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 no. This is bullshit. This is, is like it? me watching the show, and then the show ends. Like, what happened? <laughs> cliffhanger, oh, cliffhanger. cliffhanger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The no cliffhanger. climax. So, you know what? Nothing. It might be. I would say because on the mat, it's it's on me. So what? So you didn't follow up? I didn't follow up. Why? Why? Mm, bunch of other bitches. <laughs> <laughs> the guy, I no. mean, that was my reason. See? Oh. I'm kidding. I saw it. No, I saw an entrance. You're not kidding. Nah. Besides kidding. skateboard, I haven't been involved with shit. So... Me. Thank I, ain't, you. I ain't shit. <laughs> so, nah, I don't we went on one coffee nah, date. Nah, We're nah, talking nah, like nah, this nah. was some this serious some type thing. Listen, this it was bullshit. exactly that. It was no, just a coffee date. I have, listen, I have never taken the time 
to go out with somebody mm -hmm. and not poke your ass at least. <laughs> Like is he not is a total gentleman. No, no, no. But I'm not talking about the day off. Like that's my intent. Like you know, yeah, sure, we're gonna do the, the get to know each other. But just know that this either today or tomorrow or a month from today doesn't matter. Is gonna end up with me poking your ass. So you know, you know what, it, it don't you know make what, no sense to you me. You know what part of it is though. You it, know what part of it is. I, I know it doesn't make sense. God, it's so far, bro. And, just, and you just get, I just get lazy. Like fuck, I don't even single. What I'm gonna tell you, yo, come over to single. Come to single. <laughs> will you will you drive to single? I mean, I've driven farther. But that's not a yes. That's a, that was a yes or no question. Give me another answer. <laughs> well, then I guess that's the answer. Maybe I should have said, "Yo, let's go Port Dover. Come here, park in my complex." Yeah, but you know, was? I really kind of hate the fact that I've marketed myself as someone who loves the beach because the amount of beach day offers I have received is kind of obnoxious. Because I'm like. Do these people nah, actually want to go to the beach because they like the beach, or do they just want to see me in a bikini? And then I'm just that like, would, yeah, but see, if, you, if, see like, if I ask you to go to the beach, <laughs> if it's the first date, then like that's a huge red flag. Like my fucking last mm. coworker, <laughs> I had like a whole issue yeah. with a stalker, not stalker, but like mm. um a coworker issue, and like he yeah. asked me to go to the beach for our first date. He didn't drive, had no money, nothing, <laughs> but he's like, let me take you to the beach. Like if you Yo, drive, pause, 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 pause. If, I, what do you mean by that? Said no. What do you mean by that? Okay, okay, okay. I said on, absolutely pause. not. Chupapi muñeño. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> well, he introed it. He's like, yeah, you know, Do I you, think you're really cool. We vibe. And, like, you got a cute butt. And then enter the beach date. He then asked me to move in with him and his brothers. Like, there was a lot that happened. He has since been fired. He actually walked out on the job because I told him he can't make, like, whoopie pies one day. And he lost his shit. So that just kind of paints the picture of who this human being was. But... Yeah, Come that is in with me, and he hasn't. He doesn't even know. <clears throat> what? Yeah, damn, bro. We had worked together maybe a couple of weeks at this point. I was talking about how I was looking for an apartment. Next thing I know, he comes over to me with like an add off fucking kajiji, like saying, "Oh, you know, here's a three or four bedroom, whatever place. Like me, my brothers, we, you can, we can all move in. Like, should I message them? We could all spit rent, and you can be the woman in the house. You know, of course, you could have the master bedroom. And I'm just sitting there like, this is weird. Is this actually happening right now? This is this is what the this is the competition out there. No. Th there's you no competition. <coughs> this is just on, the on, shit pause. that I attract. Can I can I be devil's advocate? Mm -hmm. This is why niggas ain't nice. Because <laughs> maybe, maybe, he was genuinely trying to pull up something. Maybe he already had in the back of his head a situation where he want to move out with his brother. But and now you just happen to be looking for a place, and that that just sparked the situation. Like, you I've know known what? you for Listen five minutes, and you just said Thank you have you. a cute that, butt, and asked me on a she date. She just, bro, it was the date. And Those she, were the things leading up, up to us up, moving up. in. We're not like a couple of uh, struggling people looking for a place him. to she live. She don't know him, bro. She don't know him, but five minutes, and he asked her to do this. Yeah. That's in our first <laughs> encounter, like our first day ever working together, he didn't drive. So I have no idea how he got to the like bakery at 6 a.m. Yeah. And after work, I could feel him like fishing around for a ride. And I'm just like, fuck, I'm too much of a pushover to say no. Oh, you good. So around, huh? he weaseled me into giving him a ride. He's like, yeah, I just live down by Freshco, you know, like whatever. So I'm like, okay, 10, 15, maybe whatever. 30 no minutes. Deal. I think you grab your titties. This kid lived on the res. So half an hour later, I'm in that the middle of butt fuck foul. Idaho. That's foul. And he's like, oh, I'll buy you lunch. I'm like, I don't want you to buy me shit. I want to go home. He ended up giving me like a couple mugs of weed, which I was grateful for. But like still, <laughs> gas is really fucking expensive these days, kid. And so I just did like an hour long round trip to drive you home. And I got a nug of weed. Eat my ass. Like, no. So I'm just glad he's no I longer would. at the bakery. And if he sees this, <laughs> hello. Anyways, what's 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 wrong? Because the in the windows, bro. <laughs> the in the windows. The, I learned about that. <laughs> the in the windows. I learned in grade four. My the, teacher was the, fucked, and he would tell it teaches the sexual in the windows. You don't on, like my in the windows? Not yours. Nah, he says mine. He doesn't oh, like mine. I'm like, it wasn't that bad. Because he was like, because he was like, uh, <laughs> like you want me to drive you all the way fucking hour, eat my ass, and I said with the sweat, and he's like, I would. Like what? <laughs> See, I missed it entirely. You can get away with so much. I get away with a lot. <laughs> Sitting all the way over there. <laughs> You're lucky I'm like deaf. Listen, I'll, I'll come over there. Like, <laughs> yo, we are. Come on, let's see. <laughs> bring the mic over, Brian. Do you want to switch spots? <laughs> we can play footsie. 
<laughs> I'm kidding. Oh my god. Nah, come on, you know her. You know her sarcasm. Don't throw your phone. Listen, we talk after the podcast. This goes to YouTube, huh? YouTube. Right, everything else, Patreon. So, so today we're having none of our shit today. <laughs> so today we're getting we we gonna fuck up the bug ass. No, who? Guys, nah, usually you fuck COVID. up the. No, what? Huh? COVID fucked up. The, ain't nobody twerking in the pool no more. Listen, uh, you got this little project that I'm very interested in. Yes, they want to talk about a little bit. Yes. Um, <laughs> huh? <laughs> a project. Yeah. Yeah, we we'll call it a project. Tell me more. <laughs> nah, you know, you came up with the idea. I know I did. So- <laughs> <laughs> She love playing. I like this girl. She love playing <laughs> games, yo. Fun. Guy, fire me. Guys, she, she, I'm going to call her Game Boy. She like playing the game. I like that, actually. <laughs> I was going to say something fucked up, but I ain't. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I was going to say something so fucked up. I, don't, I, don't I almost want to hear it. Hey, you like hey. that? You like that Game Boy? <laughs> Tea kettle laugh. <laughs> yeah, you don't like you don't like me today. <laughs> yeah, anyway, let's go back to the, 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 the uh, garbage. Today. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> let's go back to uh um, bugger's fucking the, garbage. Nah, this guy fire. What are you talking about? Oh, what people want to see? People want to talk about oh today <laughs> in Ukraine. Nobody give a fuck about that. So what do people want to see? The bussy. <laughs> yeah, speaking of which, this is a topic we actually do have to get back on because we talked about it briefly before the podcast and it mm. kind of got my blood boiling. Which one? And which one? as the only woman on this podcast, I have to address it because uh-huh. I need to reach the other target audience, which is the rest of the women. Right. Mm-hmm. At what age <laughs> does your pussy expire was the topic of conversation. <laughs> and what did you men say? Uh... <laughs> Wait, that's what I fucking <laughs> thought. You have an audience and you're afraid to talk about it now, huh? Not <laughs> 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 Really, guys? <laughs> like, how far is no, too far? Tell nah. me what age. No, nah, let's go. Let's for real. Um, let me ask you the so questions for once. Tell me at what age do you think a woman's quote unquote pussy? Expires? So let me be. Let me be. Let me. Let me go first. So a man, a man by the, a, a great man by the name of Dave Chappelle said, "Oh Jesus Christ, <laughs> ain't no such good thing as thirty-six year old boys." That's what he said. I believe in that. I think that what he's trying to say is that a woman's prime, um, like by the time he's thirty-six, mm, like mm-mm. the shit that I have to say, so De- fucked up, dead. But what guy? How far is too far? That's what the podcast is called. Nah, it's not good, bro. It's controversy. It, it, has, it has to do with Michael Jackson and R. Kelly. I don't know. Do it, do it, no, do it. No, she asked us. No, she asked this question, good. and she and I think and I think um we don't have to get political. We can keep it as surface level uh, as you want. No, I, I think at like thir- I think honestly at thirty five. 35. Yeah, like for a woman, like not even, I think like when you're out of your 20s, it's it's like, it's like nightmare, nightmare alley. Don't you think you can also be circumstantial? Let me, let me tell you something. Let me, let me put it this way. Yeah. Okay, and this way. is my own humble opinion. Oh yeah, go ahead. But I feel like everybody should have this opinion. Every man. Mm-hmm. You know, to put, put some respect on your name. Right. Yeah. Put some fucking respect on your name. Especially if you're out here making money and all doing all this shit for, for ex-women. Put some fucking respect on your name. Mm-hmm. Cause you know we out here, we fuck some baby moms, baby moms. Who, so who? the we we like we like in general we have. Oh, like men. You're not talking about me and you. Me and you, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> <laughs> we fuck some baby mamas. We talking about the pussy already been to war and back <laughs> a whole ass recession. Like twelve rounds. But in the, guess in what? The ring. Shorty, shorty, twenty two. Pussy still nice. Pussy's still nice. <laughs> and that's where I so, have to draw the line. Oh. L- listen, this is my humble opinion. Hold on. <laughs> so what I'm saying is this. I also just don't think men really understand the biological sense of how a pussy actually works. But that, works. It, it's, not, it's not biological. You don't have to do it It's an idea. Right. It's kind of like Santa Claus. You excited for the so nigga. So it's not but... actually a physical thing. It's your guys' mentality of what okay, a woman is. Okay, let me ask you this. Hold on. You know Santa don't exist. Do you still get excited for Christmas? <laughs> not, not because of Santa. You still got excited for fucking Christmas. Not because of Santa. So it's a, it's a it's a it's like a chip in your head. That, you know, right. it, you, you see it. How old are you? It oh, it, tr- it triggers your endorphins. I, like it I, triggers I, your emotions. I'm, t- I'm 21. Mm, mm, 
mm, bitch. Like, you, you excited. See, I thought, like, typically speaking, men loved a good MILF. No. That, those are guys with mommy issues. Yeah. Because at the end of the day... See, in my I'm world, not, I feel like men are so much more inclined to see, like, see, go after said, a MILF said, or, like, said, see a hot mom in the streets my, or whatever my, at Walmart. Not the world. Woman, my world. Woman look my the best. My world, Biologically. Woman look the best. Sorry. And within the age of 18 to 25. Yeah. That is the best. Like I refuse you, to believe that my prime is over. I, that, but that's you. You you're gonna refuse to listen. Believe. You can, you can refuse all you want. You can be. But, the, but, I don't but, think you know, can just make a broad generalization but like it, that. But though. it is though. Like you know, I I why I, are we going I know, to? I know a few girls that they're, they're really good looking, but then you know now they're like. 28, 29. They, it's not they exciting are, they anymore. They're on the decline. Like it's not yeah. exciting anymore. You know, they, they got they start getting the little wrinkles right here beside the eyes. Looking, like I a have some crow's feet. I'm chicken, 24. Chicken, like a chicken <laughs> leg over here, something. You know what I mean? Crow's so, feet. Whatever like the you said. <laughs> so Botox, you know, baby, quick fix. But 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 see, now you got the Botox. Am I stupid? I know you got Botox. <laughs> oh, men so are stupid. No, no. no. You guys, listen, oh, because, man. Listen, because... Can you tell I've had Botox? Listen, listen. Can you tell I've had Botox? Tell me now. I'm going to tell you this. Because... Have I had Botox? Hold on, hold on. Can you tell I've had <laughs> Botox? No, yet. don't don't, don't tell but me to hold got, on. You, you hold on. You, have I had Botox? You got bare makeup. I can't tell. I don't really have that much makeup on. I have concealer makeup. and some powder. But we can't Black tell. Guys, there listen. is no actual you, you Botox really... has nothing to do with the actual coloring of my so face. So you tell, you're telling me you, no, the, the, the makeup patches things. Botox is simply a muscle freezer. So you would not makeup does not affect the way my muscles appear on my muscle face. Muscle freezer. So <laughs> stop trying to outsmart. <laughs> what, what are we frozen? The muscles. <laughs> what what do you think frozen? Botox does? It freezes every, the it, muscle. Every, so, it, it, so you can't, it frown, you can't you frown no more. Like Hold you're, you're exactly. Pause, How do you pause, think pause, the wrinkles pause. go away? So, so, they don't just so, evaporate. So females, 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 just so you know. Yeah, take think, advice from a man. Don't think, don't think, <laughs> don't think that because you get your lips done and we just allow it, that we like it. Nah, we just let it be. We're looking at something else. We're getting entertained somewhere else. Still getting a dick suck. Man. Exactly. <laughs> We're still getting a dick suck, your titty big, whatever. We don't like that Ask shit. That. We, we, the, the more natural, like, you know, if yeah. I could, if I could picture you. Men don't you, know what natural is, though. What? Yeah, we There's do. There's so what? many men yeah. that could look at me and say, Babes. oh, you look pretty natural. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 I wouldn't no, perceive no. myself would, as natural but that, right but now. That's, but that's, men don't know shit. You like that, to say you do, but, but you the, don't. But that's the I've had Botox and men. lip injections, right. but, but you couldn't tell me you've seen either. I'm getting some tomorrow, too. I'll show you the before and after, and I can promise you it's so natural you can't even know what You know what I realized what natural is? In the morning. You, yeah. woke, you woke up beside me, and at that point, I'm like, nah, you, 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 you done. Because <laughs> it don't matter how many fill it. It don't matter how many anything. In the morning when you wake up with the, with the crusts in your eyes, I can tell what's good with you. <laughs> Do y'all think you wake up looking like a fucking prince? No, but there's some women that you can handle it. And at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I don't have to. I don't have to be pretty. That's not a man department. Nor does man. I just have I'm, to have. Mo- I just have to have money. That's all I have to do. <laughs> That's all I have to do. I've never wanted to smash my head up against a wall so bad. So hold on. Weren't we talking about what? like your project? No, we just have this very is... differing logics, and yeah, I don't woman. think I'll ever be able to get. But Shayla, you're to somebody a woman like you. We're exactly, and we're gonna. We're gonna. <laughs> That's fine. We're gonna have different exactly. opinions. It's okay. No, no, no. The dick still going the pussy. It's fine. But no. I'm not gonna get like told <laughs> I'm wrong. <laughs> Listen, I know it's upsetting to find out that 25 is it. I, <laughs> I still have time, so I'm not that upset. But but at the end of the day, just know that I that know is, my clientele. I know what she has to offer, and I'm not worried no, about whether people think it's loose no, 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 or not. No, no, that's fine. Remember, this is not us, but we no, think no, no. it. This is the consensus. No, no, no. Hold on. At the end of the day, we're just talking about pussy. That is a very small part of what a woman is. We just talking about pussy, period. Hello. Mm-hmm. Look at this motherfucker. Hello. Guy, that motherfucker. Hello. Yo, what's up? You're lying. You're like, uh, 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 uh. what? Nope. Ah, <laughs> uh, he gone. Anyway, <laughs> moral of the story. That's just pussy. Mm-hmm. There is a lot more to a woman than just pussy at the end. No, of, the of day. course. So, I like think so. So at the end of the day, you could be 30, 35, whatever. You're still gonna find a man because there's gonna be things that are gonna outweigh your pussy. 
But we're talking about the women that solely base their attractiveness on pussy, on looks, on the on the on the on the first impression thing. That shit only lasts from those ages. After that, it's not really that impressive anymore. And it's kind of it's I want to say it's almost hormonal. Like we just smell it. We know. I understand you. where you're coming from. Yeah, you know I mean, I don't necessarily agree with you, I don't have to, but I, I don't see know. where you're coming from. Yeah. <laughs> and it's back. Right, you can't just be running the fucking podcast like this. It's important. It's not important. It's my father. Important. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Molly, sorry. Um, get your shit on in between. Get get. get Get every dick in your pussy in between 18 and 25. Because after that, pussy's not priority. But All I'm saying is Kegels exist. And Kegels? past 25, you what the can hell is make that? that shit work. Wait, wait, talk about, talk about. What are Kegels? Kegels? Ladies, no. Oh, no. You can't teach what us is, right now? What is Kegels? Bro? Put me on game. What's Kegels? No, I'll, I'll, honestly, I'm going to leave this one to you this guys. Maybe I'll come some back for a What is Kegels? Like, 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 like the, the Gorilla Grip shit? I don't know. Nate looks like he's about to Google it right now. <laughs> <Giggles. laughs> yeah. Because Giggles. I'm like, yo, what the Giggles. fuck? <laughs> Giggles. For men. You're No, for women. Yeah, but why is it Kegels for men? Like, what, I what? don't know. I'm sure men can do Kegels too in some way. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, what we're about to talk about is... Uh, All I'm saying oh, is... Oh, the exercises. Exactly. So what that for? Like the hips? Nah, for the pussy <laughs> to make the muscles drunk us. So what? Well, yes. uh, at the end of the day, listen. If we're oh, gonna, <laughs> if we're gonna go, but it's not. But that's it. But that's what. I'm, this is why I use the whole Santa analogy. Uh-huh. <laughs> Wait, this is this is not real facts. This is just what it is. Yeah. This is not Teach facts. This is not. There's no science. Is this how God made it? The, the, right. Right. Men of men of no men of. Okay. How about this? Yeah. What is more, um, common? Mm-hmm. Older men dating younger women, or all the way around. I still. What's more common? You ever men dating younger women, like a lot. It's younger. happened throughout all time. Through through uh, to the through to the time. existence of, of humanity. Yeah. Yep. it's been that you know a fifty year old man with a twenty year old. Kings dated. You don't wonder. Concubines. You don't wonder why that is. I feel like you're gonna tell me <laughs> because of what we're talking about. Because the twenty year old buzzy <laughs> <laughs> booming. <laughs> That but, doesn't, I don't know. It's still weird. Okay, here's weird. what it is. Here it is. It's okay. still weird. So you're telling me as a it's 40, not, 50 year old oh, okay. man, you're just going to keep dating oh, younger because the pussy's no, 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 tighter? No, 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 of course not. Of that course is not. fucked Wait, up. No, 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 it's no, no, not even about no, the pussy being tight. No, it's just no. the, the illusion of, oh, this pussy young, this pussy new. Well, then close your eyes and think you're 35 no. year old woman's fucking 22, you sicko. Like, that, I don't know what to tell you. Okay. How come he's a sicko? Because when, when I'm having sex with a man, I have never once but wished, you, but oh you my God, I thought he men, no? was, I wish he was younger. But you say you have sex That is just a very strange concept but, as a woman. I've no, never right. thought that, about that, age that, being a thing, even with older you're men. Not, like, not, I don't even... But you're, you're not, not a man. man. You're not supposed to, yeah. understand, you're not supposed to understand it. So you can't come here. Just like, you don't understand... The amount of times I've heard that on this podcast. But but that's what it comes down to, though. You're not gonna... That's like that's like And the likewise for you guys understanding right. me. And it's we agree it's with a that. pretty we agree even trade off. We agree with that. All I'm saying is why is it in society that when a when an older woman dates a younger man, you go girl, oh that girl's a cool girl. She's hot, she's You're sexy. You're telling me men don't also root on other men dating no. younger. No. Women? We're like, damn. Fuck that nigga. I Fuck see that. it firsthand. <laughs> <laughs> Case in point. But with like Women will empower ah! other women for this shit. Men don't. And then on top Not of that, women say, oh, he's a sicko. He's this, he's that. He's but a pervert. But honestly, Shailen, throughout time, kings, um, pharaohs, whatever you want to say, like, you know, uh, um, uh, Viking lords, whatever, they have all had their wife, who's their same age, and they've had a younger concubine. It's it's happened throughout, throughout history. It's only now in 2022 where, like, Women, women ain't having it now. Like now, women ain't having it. But throughout no shit. all of time, men have nah, had younger women. Women still having it, but now is it like you have to have life changing money? So you right, know, women, women right. will still can... go fuck wrinkly ass Bill Gates. Right. Yeah. They yeah. will still they will still suck his dick. No problem. Right. 18, 19, 20, 21. No problem. Bill Gates, come here. Right. I got you, boy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, before it was a little easy. 
Yeah, I'll say, I'll but give, now, I'll but give now with, with social media, girl, girls want to post shit. They want to go places. This right. and that. But I mean, back in the day, you could give her give shilling two goats and it's, it's on. This is why. <laughs> this is why the man's prime is also a little later. Later, because that's when we get our that's riches. When, exactly. Right. That's when we got the money. Yeah. Forty five. That's, when we, got, that's no. when we got the boats. That's yeah. when we got the nice cars. Right. Is around that age of forty four. Guy, what was that so, thing? So, what was that thing that um, Tate said about like uh, the 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 guy working all his life to get riches and then get by the boat and then these girls come on and the other. Oh yeah, it, it, it no, analogy, it just kind of like yeah, no, it was it just kind of explaining how tough life is for for men versus women. Mm-hmm. So you know, men will go the whole life, you know, grinding whatever, <laughs> making all this money. This guy will spend X millions of dollars on a boat. And just put this boat on the water and and just throw a party in it. Yeah. So did Shailen, you really just talk about men having a harder life than women, and then talk about a boat? Hold on, hold on, hold on. But and then and then there's Shaylin that looks good, right? Didn't pitch a single dollar on this boat, <laughs> but she gets to come. But in she gets she got to come in the same fucking boat right. because she looks good, right? Because she got a fat ass. Yeah. She's in the same fucking boat with me <laughs> because she looks good. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, I have to fucking bleed yeah, out of my ass to get to those be, to, be, to be in this boat. Right. But now, I don't have boom. to be on the boat. You don't have to have a hot girl no, on the yes, boat. Yes, we do. Why yes, don't we you do. just enjoy sailing? Hell, enjoy hell the fact here's, that you have a boat. Here's the enjoy thing. the thing. water. Isn't it fun? So you're telling me that it's okay for me to just settle for an ugly bitch? Sure. No! What the, fuck, <laughs> what the fuck do you mean? I settle so, for shit what? men all the time. But that's, but that's you! you. That's you. Listen, hey. I'm, okay, I'm gonna, well, me and several other people. I'm going to be alive once. Attraction. Uh, well, I, per, appearance is not everything. People say this all the time. People settle. Not necessarily settle, but other people go for different people that might not typically be their type or, you know. That could be personality. Who's, 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 There's who's, other factors besides appearance. Name me, name me, name me one Big, big, like you know, today, like today, not in history. Today, MGK like, uh, and Megan no, Fox. Who Megan Fox? Uh, an actress. How Megan Fox look? Like she her, fire. Her, yeah, she is fire, regardless of her age. Okay, she is fire. Uh, you know, from from her early twenties to up until right now. Yeah, I bet mm-hmm. she didn't expire at twenty five. And guess what? She famous. She rich. Yeah. What's wrong with Megan Fox? I don't care. She could wake up in the middle of the night and take little nibbles on my ass. I will let her do it. Mm-hmm. Why? Because so she's changed when she, it's Megan Fox. She <laughs> fired. That's what I, that's what I'm trying to tell you. If you if, if you are like a, a solid six, a seven, you're a solid six or seven. <laughs> you're not gonna get these passes. <laughs> Shout out to that seven. You know who you is. <laughs> you're not gonna get them passes. But if you if you're Kylie Jenner, if you're fucking, you could you could spit in my mouth all you want. I'm a swallow. It don't uh, matter. So what am I trying to say here? You as a man, you're gonna be alive one time. And what did you dedicate yourself to do? To fuck a fat bitch? Fuck out of here. <laughs> when all you had to do was get money. That's all you had to do. Was get money. Shayla, what do you have to I say about that? I don't give a fuck about that, bro. I get it. Looks aren't everything. You, you look, I zoned out. You look heated. <laughs> Listen, I get it. Looks aren't anything. But at the end of the day, I'm here for uh, advocating for self-love and self-improvement. <laughs> and self-improvement said get better. I've never better. felt more self-conscious and insecure than I have in my get entire better. life. And sitting on this podcast right now. You, we make you feel self-conscious and insecure? I want to cover up right now. <laughs> like, Yo, I want to start doing Kegels. I, Fuck. Like, I'm scared I'm going to expire tomorrow. Focus, like, nah, yeah. I'm not saying you're going to expire tomorrow, but like, I think what ha- what has happened over, You're saying over time. my biological clock is flying it's, by at the speed of fucking light. Shannon, it's ticking. Listen. I think, think I'm aging like fine wine. I think I'm only going to get better. You Watch me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Who told you this? Me. Gee. I'm not going to let myself go. <laughs> <laughs> right. But the thing is, is that like, okay, let me ask you, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> so what are you telling me? I'm going to sit here. Hey, I'm a millionaire. Who told you this? Me. <laughs> But say, let me ask you this: Your mother, um, did you know what age did your mother have you? Do 25. you know? Right, my mother had me at twenty-four. Yeah. Look, you not even. I and be honest, are you even close to thinking about kids right now? No. No. So what's happened now is that we are actually going against the natural order of things. 
That's fine with me. <laughs> I'm not ready to be a parent. But but guess what? But, guess but what? your mom wasn't ready to when be a parent it, either. Hell no, she wasn't. Right. Like right. Me. And she still had you. <laughs> she still had you. So I don't know why. We are so selfish to the point where like, we are putting this shit off and we don't realize that your family is the best thing that could ever happen to us because as we get older and friends dissipate because they have their own families. Your family is there. Your family is there to support you. But if you don't have no family, you got cats. And guess what those cats going to do when you're old in the crib? Shed them piss. They're going to eat you. You shed My cats piss. and I are doing just fine. They will eat Listen you. Listen to what you're, I'm saying. You're 25 right now. Listen to what I'm saying. Older. Would never. Listen to <laughs> what I'm saying. Older. Back in the day, the divorce rate was neat. Bro, it's hot. Back now. in the day, people were e- people easy. are finally coming to their senses. That's why. No, you don't I ain't coming to their senses. No, no. That you're miserable. Yo, 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 yo. How are we coming to this and becoming worse? Why as a society? would you stay in a miserable marriage? Why not okay. get divorced not, and live your best saying, fucking we're not, life? We're not talking about that. We're just talking about like. What are you talking about? With, All okay. marriages ending in divorce do not necessarily mean it's a bad right. thing in we're my eyes. We're not talking about we're not, you're, that. You're, you're, people machine, flourish machine. after divorces in some cases. I'm about the. I'm the one to 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 take things. Thanks to the extreme. No, now she's, you're doing it. Right. Because at the end of the day, I'm not talking about like if you're being abused. Right. We're not talking about I'm that. Not talking about, about, I'm not, I'm saying not even that. talking about I'm that just, either. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, ain't no reason for you to see your men struggling with whatever, whether it's depression, uh, uh, economical hardships or whatever, and you just up and leave because it's not as comfortable as it, as it used to be. That's the times that we're living in, where marriage, a, a relationship is an option. It's right. not something that you fight for anymore. Or work on, it's yeah. A, it's an option. And that and that's what's changed. The fact that <laughs> education has told you you got options. Mm-hmm. You got a choice. Mm-hmm. The, but to, to what extent, though? But those resources are still out there to work on your marriage, work on your things, work on yourself. But people don't because it's a lot easier to just like, switch. Okay, what are you saying? But Shana? there's still plenty of people. I think it's pretty split. Like, yeah, there's some people that would rather just go absolutely no. Nah, like, because what's, divorce, what's, what's I think what the difference? I think what the I understand your point. What you're saying, Re- Okay, here's what's happened. Resources sky high, but in terms of there's like more information abs- out there, right? There's more information out there, but in terms of people's actual knowledge, I think it's. Kind of depleting because, w- like, but women never women- got divorced X amount of years ago because they didn't have this information and they thought they had no other choice but to stay in this well, marriage, ta- whether they're happy or miserable. The extreme. I, what I, we're talking I'm about, not talking about abuse. I, I, I'm just talking about general yeah, yeah, happiness yeah, yeah, yeah. in your okay, relationship. So let me ask you this. Are they still together? Huh? Are they still together? Who's they? I'm not Over. referring to any particular person. No, she's just I'm saying doing in a general, broad generalization. In general, which is which is you're which, telling me people don't stay together 24 seven because yep. they're afraid of being they're alone, afraid. or right. because they're just used there to are something. People, I've been married for 30 years. Right. I might as well just stick with it, even though I'm miserable as shit. Happens all the time. Right. So why not? Whether it's been 30 years or not, go your own separate ways amicably. Yeah. Hopefully, if not, worst case mm, scenario, it is what it is. You're still gonna end up being I happier feel, on the other side because like, you are doing your own thing and you're not being dragged down by this other person in your marriage that you think you are tied to. I just feel like if 30 years pass by and you still figure it out with some Some, some people dip, don't know when dip, to walk some, away. Some I just dipper. did two years and I just came to my so senses ask, and I never even got to the relationship state. So let me ask Sometimes this. people just don't mentally come to that realization quick or they're not strong enough to do so. so and that's okay. Let me ask you But they're you also this. allowed to come to their senses and walk away when it's right for them. I agree with that. But let me ask you this. We're on the top of marriage. What do you think of marriage? Like, what is your personal view on it? I have never even been in a relationship, so I don't think I can make an informed opinion on marriage. I think it is a sacred (laughs) bond. I think it is specific to every individual person. Do I believe signing some papers like That's dictates my feelings for a person? That's the worst no. part, signing the papers. But do I also think marriage is kind of a great thing to share with another person? Sure. Do I absolutely need it in my life? I don't think so. All I got to say is this. This is just a North American problem. <laughs> yes. Meaning the rest of the world is doing just fine <laughs> with the horrible mar- marriages. <laughs> This is only a North American problem. It's true. So at the like end of the I said, day, to each their own. I'm not saying you're wrong, and I'm not saying I'm right. I'm all, just all stating my say, opinion that, on this shit. All I gotta say, that whether they, you like it or not, the, the, the mental health is is mud in here. 
Not it's always there. been there. The mental health is just now being more <laughs> talked about and like publicized, if you will. Listen. There wasn't social media or anything. Anybody <laughs> that was like depressed back in the day was clinically insane because you know, there was you know no the one. There's no research, no nothing on all it. Right. It's You're, becoming more normalized. We're human. We all go through shit. We were talking about skeletons. We is, all fucking have be, them. We go through things. Trauma exists. This like is, this is gonna be horrible, but. Here's what I'm trying to say. I don't care at this point. <laughs> no, this, this, like, this, hit this me with it, Brian. This Please. is what I'm trying to say. Back then, with the horrible marriage Marriages. and all the trauma and all that shit, mm -hmm. she stayed and just put up with it. So did he. And so did he. Right. Today, they just kill themselves. <laughs> so are we improving as a society or what, what the fuck is going on? I've never really heard of that statistic. Like, no, I'm, a lot the, of, no uh, I'm just saying, like, that's where they... That's my marriage they, is miserable. I'd rather kill myself than get a divorce. No, you know, they develop some, some next type of depression, this and that, boom, dead. <laughs> Ask any doctor, I mean, they will say everyone's depressed these days. I mean, like, we can all was, fucking was, deal were, were humans stronger back then? Is that what it was? No. I humans like had they, more, they, it was a more sense of duty like to that marriage like now we have so many options it's, it's options. like yo fuck it why you can literally say like why fuck are it. options a bad thing because because the thing is is that like it's an illusion Everything. we don't actually have the options that we think we have well this tradition what? bullshit can also be considered an illusion too could it not no no, but it works because though. it works. In look, what look, world? Look, look, you look. just finished just, saying just, the divorce rate know, was know, sky high. But, but, that's the now, but, that, but that's now with, with, with the options. Right. Without the options, it was fine. It was fine. So, the white okay. picket fence. Here's the thing. The Here's white the thing. picket fence term was 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 back with the boomers. Listen. You know, Mary, are you twenty? How are you guys with marriages? Listen. Hmm? The, I'm right. We're 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 a product of this society too. Yeah. And and we hate it. Listen. I wish I was married. Yeah. But why guess not? what? Why, why not? Why, why you wanna do? Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm not. I'm not trying to convince you of anything. Um, I'm not doing else. that. I'm not trying to either. Right. I'm just. I'm just having a conversation with devil's you. Devil's advocate here. But, right, and that's good because we need that. And I wish women were more like that when they came on here because it creates a great conversation. I think so too. But what I, but what I'm, what I'm seeing is that these options, especially for women. Because come from a woman's perspective, we got a woman guest on here. The options that they think are options, it's just guys that will fuck them. It's not really marriage proposals or actual dating. Because at the end of the day, women are the gatekeepers of sex. So you can get, you chilling, you can get sex all day. But at the end of the day, it's a man that's going to decide we're dating. It's a man that's going to decide we're, we're getting married, married now. It's not you, like, and and that's and that's where the illusion comes from. Everyone and and you know and obviously, men. Does a woman not have to agree to being in that that's relationship? Obviously, Does a woman not obviously, obviously, obviously also have to but say yes to before a proposal. Really, before they, how, <laughs> what do you I, agree to if I don't ask you shit? Right. Before you agree, you build together. It's no, not just a man that is, dictating that is, that the entire relationship. That, that, that only happens after the question gets right. popped. I ask you, Shailen, uh, you know, you want to you want to start dating now? Like, I want to go out with you. What do you think? It's not gonna you if you ask me. Like, you're not gonna because that's not how things work. That's not how God Shout intended out to it to work. <laughs> what? Pick know. up the CT shawarma. It is amazing though. It's over there still. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is, is that like right you know, th like we are so disillusioned. It's crazy because if we actually, you know, how I want to meet somebody. Let me go to the grocery store and meet somebody. Like amicably, it's not gonna happen. But those days are, seem to be gone. Like we just run into somebody and you just have that feeling. Like I remember talking with him. Mm -hmm. Like you know. Like you know when you have a good feeling with somebody, but like it's kind of like it's 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 muffled now because I, I have a feeling with somebody, but I got a date with somebody else at six and eight and ten. Ain't no, ain't no <laughs> you know, way. You know what I'm saying? I like do. there's ain't so no, many options out there no that it kind of like skewers but our judgment. But the options I don't think really get in the way of finding someone that's actually uh -huh. for you. Because even people, when you, have, you say you might have all these options, someone that is the right one for you might come along. Mm -hmm. Are you going to continue entertaining all these options? Yes. Are you gonna, yes. Seriously? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's what the problem is. That's that, what that's we do. A, that's what women are. Because at the end of the day, no See, women, that, that, women, that, that, women. That's, that, that, that's I, I guess it's a differentiation between men and women. But like yeah. with me, if I come across a man who I might be entertaining, for example, five different men. Right. But I go the, on a date with a sixth and I'm like holy like shit one. this one's actually you're deep. cutting I off see. all the other ones hold up you go I ahead. might not cut them off cold. see <laughs> 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 
Hey, hold on, where is it? Where? That's not even what I was going to say. I was going okay. to... Okay, listen. You, you know, know what you're talking about. You know what you're talking about. You know what you're talking about. If the moment you find this nigga, no. you don't go on your phone and block everybody, fuck out of here. <laughs> After a first date? Yeah. No. Yeah. That's what we're saying. That's what we're talking about, this arson shit. It's toxic, bro. And then they want to call us toxic masculinity, nigga. What the fuck? You Listen, didn't even if, let me finish my thoughts. Okay, finish your time. Hold on, hold on. Time out. Calm down. Let's, let's calm down. <laughs> Finish your finish your thoughts, Shailen. Go ahead. You're not gonna cut them all off, but I, no. What are you trying to say? Just... No, I was trying to say more yeah. in a way of not just like blocking. As Brian said, I wouldn't like after the first date block everyone. Why not? But if you because not... guess what? After that first date, I might be feeling some type of way. Might wake up the next options. morning. Options. It's, Yo, that's what exactly what we're no, talking about. That's not, not options. options. Not options that is just playing it safe. No, Why no, would no, I? No, 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 hold on. It's not even that. Guy, their emotions are like... great. Success. <laughs> <laughs> wow, women are. This is no, really no, interesting. No, 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 guy. This is the this is the same gym, the same shit we're talking about. Look at what she say. This is playing it safe. Tomorrow I might wake up yeah. feeling a next type of oh, That's emotions. not what I even said. Oh, if I wake say? up the next day and yeah. he either goes or proves himself to be a total piece of shit, I just blocked off my other five on the roster and I just fucked myself over oh, for one guy who I just thought potential about again? in. But why do the options? Other options? Yeah, I the get other? it. But that's that's the thing. My emotional and my my emotional attachment and loyalty so she, lays with the six. The other huh? five. They're done. Uh, like my loyalty. Okay. Wait, 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 say that last part again. Okay, I guess loyalty might not be the right word, oh, but okay. like. <laughs> <laughs> so how are you going to bed thinking? You know what? I still got another. Because five I here. know I what I'm doing with the other men, and if I cut that off immediately, you know what? You know what a few is? words it, on, does not finish. matter. Hold on, hold on, let me it's not like I am sitting there sleeping with all six of them. If I find there is. There interest is. in one, I'm going to stop doing anything with there the is. others. There it is. So, guys, so, hold on. It's the same shit I've been saying all over. Yeah. Women will be in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Go to the club and wind up on a next nigga. Mm -hmm. Go go to, Miami, go, on a, go to Miami <laughs> and, and hop on a next man boat. Go to but, because, but because they ain't suck no dick, it's okay. <laughs> if... If I haven't done anything from a physical standpoint, what's the big deal of me sipping on a boat? Like, I'll bring you with you me. You don't see that as cheating, though? So, so uh, no, not cheating. Not, okay, hold on. So, what happens? So if you wanna, I'm sitting in so Greece in some beautiful... Hold on. So, you in Miami... Don't lose your time, this boat, Don't lose it. Don't lose in it. In this boat, there is men... Let's just say there's two guys recording you. You're shaking your ass in your boat. And I just swim through the boat and I'm saying, yo, what's going on here? What are you going to say then? Like I don't if, understand. Okay, he I'm said, your boyfriend. Yeah. I'm your boyfriend. Okay, now I'm it's your gonna, boyfriend. Right. I'm okay. your boyfriend. Yeah? You went to Miami with your girls. Uh-huh. Our next man said, yo, girls, come in this boat, whatever. Okay. Few drinks later, they're shitting and shaking some ass. Men them over here. Taking if I'm with a group of girls, my man better understand that we are just there for the experience and my loyalty oh lays my. with him. How can we live? That, see, this is, this is the society we live if in. I, if I was hopping on that Listen. boat as just me with a whole bunch of men, then absolutely, I would consider so that, that a red flag and a hell no. But if I'm with my on. girls on, and I'm on. not doing anything wrong with any man on that fucking boat, I don't see an issue with that. Because if my man wanted That's to go on a boat up. with a bunch of girls and he was being respectful and That's totally minding up. his own business, just there for the experience, Listen, I'd be really like, babe, enjoy your boat ride. Do you think, oh, hold on, and let me, if you think that, I'm this going to Miami. We, we're just different. No, that's not different. <laughs> that's this not. Is the, this is the 2022 shit that we talk about that we say we are a product of this problem. That's why we're not what, married. Because why put yourself... Because in, of this. Shailen, why at the put yourself in that, listen, in that situation? Understand. I trust myself no, 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 I know no, I'm not going to fuck, fuck around with some oh, random oh, guy because no, he just has a boat. It's not, it's not even a trust thing. You know what it is? It's the principle. At the end of the day, I'm you here. guys don't trust yourself oh, in that no, circumstance. No, no, doesn't mean that I won't. No, no, no. Listen, it's just at the end of the day, it's this. I'm here... Putting myself to everything to provide for you, to care for you, to fucking love you. The if least we're building I, together, the you least, wouldn't have the to worry least about I expect that. from you is to say, nah, I don't need to be in that fucking boat. 
<laughs> That's it. Don't I tell me you. nothing else. Don't tell me nothing else. You're not if you if you don't have the balls to say yo, my men probably won't like that. But she don't have balls. She got you don't have you know That's what the problem is. If you don't think outside of outside of who you are, because of the thing, this is what you're saying. The experience. The experience is only for you. Right. I'm home out here like what the fuck? <laughs> and if you're not thinking about that, take like you know consideration, bro. See, like yo, my men probably not not liking this. This is not a good look. I shouldn't be there. Why can't we? If that's what you're not doing, then you're a dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> like why are we not on a boat? Why are we not on a boat? We're in a relationship. Why are we not on a boat? Why like what? Like, At the end of the day, this why? is we can be on a boat. I'm but not saying we can't. We, we no 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 we. If me, we're on a, a trip bunch to- of bitches. <laughs> me. And you are home thinking about why is he on a boat with a bunch of bitches, I wonder. Not you know, you might make you. it sound like a very far off experience with this whole boat shit, but dial it back to a club. You guys are going out for a guy's night surrounded with a ton of strippers and bitches, whole nine yards. Are you asking my permission for that? No. Am I expected but, but to be we know okay we with do. that? But am know. I expected but, to be a okay with that, or am I going to be like, oh no, he's out there with these the women, and like, like I had put my foot down. My man would never even put himself guess, in that situation. But, you know what the why the fuck does that double standard <laughs> exist? Yeah. Okay, it's not a tell double standard. Tell me why. It's not, it's not a, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna tell you. So you know what the difference is? There is no difference. That I keep it a hundred. I know myself that I'm gonna go there for some fuckery. <laughs> That's what I just fucking I'm said. Not, five no, years ago, you didn't I? You didn't know, I? Tell, 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 I trust myself and I know how loyal I'm I am. I'm not gonna myself. fuck I'm around with a random cheese. person in the it's club. Not a cheese, you you might, but I'm not. <laughs> Yo, so we fuck need to, you. hold on, we need to calm down. We we get it. Fuck you, bitch! How far is too far? Got you! <laughs> hold on, listen. But hold on, let's I have to pee so you guys can talk your own we are, shit. We are getting, we are nah, getting. We're, we're done. We're, we're, nah, we're, we're guys, done. it's an hour plus. It's a nah, good she night, gotta, she sayonara. Can, <laughs> this is Yo, how far is the far far Follow us on Instagram, YouTube, Google Podcasts. Um, what we got? Spotify. Gonna be a part two to this, maybe. There has to be a part two. We're not done yet. You already know what it is. Nathan, Brian, this has been How Far Too Far. Thank you very much, yo. We out.